Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. <coughs> DJ Diner Blend here, Kirk Thompson, and today, look what's arrived. My new subwoofer. Yeah, AVE Bass Boy 2. Um, I've been wanting one of these for quite a while and saving my pennies. Um, just to go with my up uh, my setup I use, which is the AVE Ultra speakers. I've already done a review on those. Um, yeah, just to match my setup. So I'm going to be doing an unboxing. Well, to be honest, a bit of a fake unboxing. I've already unboxed it. So it's an unboxing unboxing. Um, Sorry guys, you know how heavy that thing is? Apparently it's only 27 kilos according to DJ City, but lo and behold, 37.2 when it arrived. So that thing, man, that was, took a lot of effort getting it up on that table, believe me. You know, 37 doesn't sound too heavy, but it is. Anyway, moving on. I'm going to do the unboxing. Oh yes, I'm going to wait to unbox my uh, sub, even though I've already unboxed it. Right. Bit of cardboard. Bit of, uh, oh, there's a manual. Thin manual. There's a power lead. Bit of foam and um, a box, heavy duty box, a bit boring, and plastic wrapped sub. Oh snap, that's sexy. Alright, so let's talk about this sucker. Nice AVE logo, nice grill, got that hexagon beehive looking grill with the foam foam behind the grill which is cool you actually can see see just see the outline of the sub on this on this particular speaker but anyway um it's actually quite cool nice handle that uh, i love ave they do their embossed logos so <clears throat> It's actually embedded, it's, uh, it's cool, I love how AVE do that. Good handle, really good handles. Heavy, solid construction. You got your pole mount for your speaker. And they use Allen keys, which I like. Allen keys. Or most AVE speakers seem to use Allen keys, which is really awesome. There's the other logo. It complements my Ultra 15 speaker, so you know they, they complement each other, they look good together. They're made for each other. <laughs> anyway, um, moving on, moving on. Let's have a look at the back, eh? So, <clears throat> there's the amp, and um, I noticed on the sub they actually have the fins. The fins on the back, so on their speaker range, they sort of have a flush finish, as you can see, which is what I like better. That's cool. But anyway, if it needs fins on the back, it needs fins on the back. All right, so nice power switch there. Got a fuse. I'm not sure how that works. Whether it's uh, looks like a reset button. Okay, you got your XLR in, your XLR out, you got your phasing, 0 or 180 degrees, you got your volume, and your low frequency power clip. Um, right, so I'll just talk about this, this crossover here, that's an actually, actually a crossover. So you got 60 hertz to 150 hertz. Now, where you set this, 
you know, obviously it's, it's kind of like a filter on your mixer. The higher that is, clockwise, the more high-pitched frequencies it's going to let in. So obviously if you turn it back, it's cutting out the highs and bringing in the lows. So as it goes all the way to 60, it's only going to allow 60 hertz and under. So they're all your low, deep frequencies. And you wouldn't set it there. You wouldn't. I'd probably set it, you know, either half or 10 o'clock, right? Because the further that is down, further that is back, the harder the sub has to work. Now, because those deep bassy frequencies take a lot of effort, you know, the sub's got to move a lot of air, and um, <clears throat> which means the amp's going to be working pretty hard to do that. Nevertheless, I'd probably leave it there halfway. Alright, so that's the AVE 15 inch subwoofer, Class D amp, crossover, XLR in and out, uh, 400 watts RMS I believe it is, or 800 watts peak power. Um, you get them from DJ City, AVE stands for Audio Visual Engineering, the Australian company. And um, I really can't wait to try this sucker out. Now, the cool thing I wanted to show you is, is I've undone the grill. So we can get a really good look at that speaker and see what it looks like. So, I'm just going to pull this cover off. Nice new cover. How many DJs do, you know, get a brand new sub and then pull the grill off just to show you? Me, that's who. Wow. Look at that woofer. Let's put that down. Alright, so you got your base ports. Looks like it's got four base ports, as you can see. Very good quality. It's got a metal... Is it very thick metal ring around the outside of the sub. I'm not sure what that is. It's very heavy duty, no matter what it is. I don't know what that is. Well, anyway, <coughs> AVE standard Allen keys to hold in the subs and speakers. Everything's Allen keys on this AVE brand, is what I like. Allen keys are a lot stronger than screws. And they look better too. So there's that sub. A nice long shot. Very good looking speaker. Very big um, dust cover on there. It's quite solid feeling. It's quite a stiff, heavy duty um, cone by the looks. show you is a bit of a level control, bit of gain control, just a few tips here. You always want to have, let's turn the master down, you can see, see in the left channel there it's quite in the red, so what you want to do is turn the gain down, it's only just, just popping into the red now, a little bit more, that's a good level. That's because uh, this is running on CD. It's one into um, playing a CD. A CD is quite loud on the XDJR one, so really need to pop the gain down. You know, you 
most people would have it at 12. If you're running CDs, you'd want to have it, you know, 10 o'clock. That's brought the gain down. So it's just popping the red. Some DJs say, oh, you know, you want your best gain there on the fader. But that's no good. There's no way you want to be DJing and you've got to stop your fader at 8 or 7 or 10 or whatever he chooses um, while you're DJing. You always want faders, bang, max volume, max, uh, max throw all the way up. You know, you've got more, more control when you got from 0 to 10. From there to there, there's more throw, it means you've got more volume control. If you set your maximum there, you've only got from 0 to 6 or 7, you know, that, that reduces your throw and reduces your volume, um, your control over your volume. And not only that, it's a pain. Who wants to DJ and then, oh crap, that's right, I've got to stop at 7. So you're quickly trying to throw a track in and then, oh, where is it? Oh, quick, oh, there, stop it there. That's ridiculous, mate. So yeah, it's my uh, e XDJ R1 system from Pioneer. It's a pretty good little system. It's getting a few years old now, but uh, I've had it about three or four years. It's got four base ports, as you can see. Heavy duty, big dust cap on that woofer, heavy duty cone, Allen keys holding it in. I know I've been through this. I'll just put the grill back on there. The grill's easy to pull off. It's a couple of um, couple of uh, four Allen keys, and um, highly recommend AVE speaker products. <laughs> Class D amp and that too. I think I paid and quite reasonably priced. I paid seven hundred dollars for that sub. So you know, fifteen inch professional grade Class D amped subwoofer, seven hundred bucks. That's a mighty good deal, <laughs> if you ask me. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this little uh, vlog. I've actually actually got a little surprise sort of outdoory push biking vlog for you after this so if you want to um, have a look at where I live and Gold Coast area I'm actually riding up to the Blues Fest you can uh, continue to watch the vlog and um, thumbs up uh, leave a comment below and subscribe subscribe now you want to subscribe come on subscribe Please, I'm trying to grow this channel. Ask me any questions and I will reply. All right, signing out. See you guys. Thanks for that. So I'm just driving to the Broad Beach Blues Festival now. Blues, bit of rock and roll, um, a few bands playing music, a couple stages set up. It's over the weekend and they got uh, food vans and should be a bit good day. A lot of people are going to turn up to this, I reckon. So just making me way there, got me pushy in the back. I'm going to drive to the beach, unload me bike, have a good ride and um, basically ride over to the Blues Fest and then walk around the Blues Fest. It's going to be a good day. That's how I get my exercise. I do a lot of bike riding. <laughs>
Rap, <laughs> rap,